Good morning guys, in today's video some cool info, I'm going to show you the beautiful jungle of Kopangan. I'm going to show you an amazing waterfall where I jump into the pool and where I wash my hair in the fresh cool water that streams from the mountain. I'm going to talk a little bit about the Bitcoin price, I'm going to talk about the Ethereum fee because one pool they announced that they are giving back the, the fees to the righteous owner. Talking about a debit card issuer, yes, they issued a debit card for 10x, Wirex, Crypto.com. They just lost 2.1 billion US dollars and I'm going to show you what happened. Also talk a little bit about how to create a decentralized website on my Eto wallet in the near future. I am going to test it in the near future, but I'm going to tell you now what they just made possible. I'm also going to talk about the total amount of 21 million Bitcoins, how many Bitcoins still need to be mined, how many Bitcoins are people hodling, how many Bitcoins are people using to invest or to trade with. And for that amount of Bitcoin that is used to trade, how many traders are there in the crypto space? And then I will end the video about the English bank printing 125 billion dollar more to save the economy. I am going to give my opinion about all this printing. So make sure you watch the video till the end because at the end you will hear what I have to say about all this printing and you will see me swimming in this amazing pool where this beautiful waterfall ends. Enjoy this video guys. guys on the beautiful island of Copangan it was raining all night which is perfect because you all chose me to go to a waterfall today there are like three waterfalls so let's see which waterfall is beautiful enough to show you guys while I'll talk a little bit out live crypto blockchain and all other stuff let's jump on to my scooter guys let's go. Let's check if there is water in the Peng waterfall. But my mind can't get no rest. Oh no. We arrived at the first waterfall. It's called the Peng waterfall. I think this one is a national park. So we need to pay entrance, I think. I need to ask the guys if I need to pay entrance or not. Closed. Why closed? One month closed for COVID. I cannot go to waterfall. Okay, kap kun kap. So the waterfall is closed because of COVID. Uh, one more month, I think. In Thailand, during the COVID, all national parks were closed. So there are two waterfalls on the island that are a national park. This is one of them. That one is closed. Um, the other one, Tan Sadat, also closed. So I'm not going to that one. But there is a beautiful zoo cafe here. Maybe I can take a coffee at the zoo cafe, guys, and then drive to the next waterfall. Because I didn't have a coffee, I woke up too uh, late this morning and I promised the waterfall, so I need to do a waterfall. So it's a little bit later, so I will grab the coffee here at the zoo cafe. It's a beautiful cafe with all kinds of animals. So if you're on Copagan with your kids, go to the zoo cafe and you can see all kinds of animals while you're drinking some coffee or having a beautiful lunch. repellent dengue on the island guys so there is a lot of dengue mosquitoes that's why I'm being a little bit more cautious, cautious with the mosquitoes I need to make videos for you guys every day so you know that's why I cannot get dengue so we are now at the waterfall the big waterfalls on Copangan they are all in national parks they are still closed so I cannot show you these huge waterfalls but this waterfall is a very beautiful one as well and at the end there is a pool, I can jump into the pool and just swim in the middle of nature guys and have a refreshing dive in this natural water. And I think I will sweat my ass off during this climb because it's very humid in the middle of the jungle and as stupid as, as I am, of course I'm wearing flip flops. While climbing guys, 
and walking this path. I hear the water already of the waterfall, which is beautiful. I will talk you through the news. Yesterday, some comments that they asked me, Didi, don't talk that much about the price. And I agree, maybe I have been talking too much about the price lately. So I will talk a little bit less about the price. The thing I want to share with the price is only this. There is a huge line of support around 9,250-ish. This is the support we need to huddle. If we are able to huddle 9,250 guys, that is very positive and we can go up from there again and retest the 10k if we are not able to do this we could fall down all the way back to 8700 8600 and if we don't keep that support then to 7k but till now 9250 shows it has been a very strong support so let's see if we can keep this support the next couple of days guys I can hear the waterfall, I can see the waterfall, you can't see it yet, and we are going to climb it. Yes, on my flip-flops, I'm going to climb up, show you this beautiful waterfall. We are still moving above the 100 and the 200 day moving average, which is very positive, guys. For me, I'm still bullish, but like I said in the last few videos, even if we go to 8,100, I think we are still moving in this huge range. Um, so no worries about the price and yes, I will talk a little bit less about the price Interesting fact about Bitcoin to share with you guys is that do you know how many Bitcoins are even used for trading a lot of people hold their Bitcoins some people trade their Bitcoins Everybody does something else. So I'm going to show you now how many people are Huddling their Bitcoins and I'm going to slow the turn so you have a little bit view of the small waterfall at the back. Around 19% of the Bitcoins are used to trade. One fifth of all the Bitcoins mined out there are used for trading. So 11.4 Bitcoins are used as an investment as you can see on the chart. They hodl the Bitcoins, 11.4 million Bitcoins. 3.7 million Bitcoins are lost. I don't know if this figure is completely correct, but many state that about 3.7 million are lost. This is inclusive the 1 million Bitcoins that have never moved out of Satoshi's wallet. So 2.7 lost, 3.7 in total are lost. We know that 2.4 Bitcoins still need to be mined, guys. And we can calculate that 3.5 Bitcoins are used for trading daily. This is a really cool number. So 3.5 million Bitcoins to trade daily. So the other cool fact, guys, is that we have about 340,000 traders. 340,000 traders that trade Bitcoin every day. And of these 340,000 traders, 4% is considered professional traders or entities, which is about 14,000 traders of the 340 that are professional. The rest are traders like me, non-professionals or retail investor traders like you guys. So only 4% is professionally trading the market. And these 4% are responsible for 85% of the total trading volume. This is enough Bitcoin cheddar, price cheddar, trading cheddar. Now we are going to go to the waterfall and I will talk you through some other cool news, guys. I'm near the waterfall. I need to cross over to the other side, I think. These flip-flops are not really handy. I need to lose my flip-flops. I'm going to wear barefooted. One second, guys. And remember guys, we are all born to be free. That's why you need to buy my shirt and support everybody that is born to be free and that wants to be free. Guys, born to be free. I think it can only go that way. Because here is too slippery. Yeah, this is the only way I can go. But it's very slippery guys. It is fucked up. It was a fucking angle, I need to go up there and then I can go higher. A lot of red ants, I don't like the jungle as much as I should like, like the jungle because I look like Tarzan. It's very slippery so I really need to climb slowly. To give you this amazing view at the end, it's really beautiful. So let's go there guys. What to do for your followers? And all just to give you this amazing view of this waterfall upstairs here and not only the waterfall you have a beautiful view of the whole side you can see the sea the jungle 
I'm going to turn around now and show you this view. If this woman there with the tongue will disappear because else she will be in the picture. I don't think she wants to be in the picture. And yes, do you see all these tubes? They are not to fill the waterfall of water. They are, take, they are taking the waterfall water into the village because that is how we get fresh water in the village. They use these blue tubes in the back and they suck the water out of the waterfall into the village and store it there to use. Not the top yet, so we need to climb a little bit further. As you can see guys, the waterfall goes all up to the top. These red ants, they fucking bite really hard. Shit. So the climb all up there, man, it's a little bit too long. I want to talk to you some more about the news before I climb down. I want to jump in this beautiful pool there, man, and then go home and edit the video. And like I said, the big waterfalls are closed because of the COVID. I hope you enjoyed this smaller waterfall. If you liked the video this far, guys, give it a thumbs up. Click the bell button so you'll be notified. Subscribe to the channel. I hope you guys can hear me because it's a little bit loud of the water. Did you read the news about this debit card issuer that lost 2.1 billion of its funds? They think their employees stole the funds in some kind of sneaky way. They took 2.1 billion in cash from this company. The debit card issuer is called Wirecard. And they are providing debit cards to Wirex, to 10X, to Crypto.com. They lost 2.1 billion of their funds their stocks dropped with 50% immediately after the news came out. Let's see how this continues. I don't think our crypto debit cards will be affected because of this news, but you never know. So let's see um, the next couple of days, how this news evolves and what will happen with this beautiful company that is supporting all these crypto debit cards. I hope they are doing fine. So let's see what will happen. My Ether wallet is, uh, is launching this feature called host your own site on the my ether wallet so you will be able to host a completely decentralized website on my ether wallet i'm going to dig into this i'm going to research how the technology works and i'm going to try and start the bitcoin family crypto website on my ether wallet let's see if i succeed in the next couple of weeks this is completely decentralizing the world uh, this is the first step to completely decentralize many industries in the world and if we are going to decentralize the internet then believe me this is going to be a huge change for the world so let's see how this one evolves on my ether wallet talking about my ether wallet that makes me think about ethereum again so there is some update about the uh, fees that were hacked from ethereum one of the pools f2 pool remember this name f2 pool they are giving back the stolen fees to the rightful owner of this wallet address i think f2 pool is doing the right thing because guys we need to keep this industry honest and how do you keep it honest by being honest by leading by example i think f2 pool is now leading by example they are returning 90 percent of the stolen fees this is about 500 000 us dollar worth of ethereum to the rightful owner of the wallet address yes this owner needed to prove that he was the owner by showing a transaction and the private key and all that stuff. But when he did, F2 pool gave back 90% to the rightful owner. The other 10% was kept by F2 pool to compensate the mining pool because they lost a lot of mining power last couple of days. So I think they did it the honest way. I think we need to give F2 pool a huge thumbs up because this is how we should be honest and support each other in this industry while the sweat drips from my nose my god it is bloody hot i think that the other two mining pools ether chain and spark pool completely did it the wrong way they completely went for the cash they distributed the 2.6 million us dollar in fees to the mining pool i don't think that these four days they gave the, the rightful owner to react to the stolen fees was enough I think these two pools should have acted more honest and waited a little bit longer. I think they should have acted the same way as F2 pool. They should have returned 90% of the stolen fees to the righteous owner instead of taking all the full 100% to their mining pool. So maybe they can still change it. If not, I think Etherchain and Sparkpool both 
need to learn a little bit in this industry. This industry needs to stay honest, guys. We are all in it for the same thing. We are in it to disrupt the monetary system, to create a new financial system. And we can only do this by being a honest community. So maybe they can still give back the fees. If not, man, next time, please do and lead the example that F2 Pool gave you guys. I'm going down to the end of the waterfall. There is a beautiful pool. I'm going to swim in this pool. I'm going to jump. I'm not going to make a, how do you call it? I say a salto in the last video, but it's a salto in Dutch. I think they call it like a flip over or something in English. I'm not going to do it here because it's undeep, but I'm going to show you how you can beautiful bathe in the middle of the nature. I'm going to share one more news with you guys that the England bank, they decided to stimulate the economy a little bit more and they printed just, just 125 billion US dollar extra to support England. I don't know how much longer all these banks, all these governments can keep printing money. It needs to be logic to all of you guys that if money can be printed this easy all the time and more and more and more that the money becomes worthless. This is what we call inflation. This is what happened in Venezuela, Zimbabwe, many other countries. Because if you keep printing money, the supply of money is going to increase drastically. The demand is not going to increase drastically because we still live our normal lives. So this money they keep printing, they are not giving it to the normal people. They are giving it to these huge banks and huge institutions to save them from going bankrupt. But you know, an infinite supply of physical and digital fiat money can never be good in the long term. This is going to create a huge crash or they need to keep printing more and more and more. But if they will print more and more and more, I would advise them to print some little bit more. So you print so much money that we never have to pay taxes again. You print so much money that you can divide this money across the whole world and pay everybody this monthly income of 2,500 US dollars. It needs to be positive for both sides, not only for the big corporations and the banks, it also needs to be positive for the normal guy like me and all the other people in the world. So if you keep printing, print a little bit more, don't let us pay taxes anymore, and then please provide us of a monthly income of around 2,500 US dollars so that everybody in the world can live and nobody has to starve from hunger or other crazy diseases because then they have enough funds to go to a doctor or to a hospital or to just buy food. Why doesn't the government just print that shitload of money to save all those people? Why do they want those people to keep depending on their governments, on their banks? That is the way they create sheeple living in fear. If they distribute the money to the people, those people wouldn't die out of hunger, guys. They wouldn't. So that is my emotional feeling about this printing money. And I hope this will not continue for a very long time. And if it does, I hope the monetary system will collapse and Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies will survive and will provide a new monetary system to everybody in the world where everybody can have access and where everybody is treated equally. I'm going to dip now in the pool because I'm bloody hot. It feels so good to be laying in this waterfall, hear the sound in your ears, feel this cold water all over your head. This is freedom. Born to be free by the t-shirt. I'm going to go down now and I'm going to go jump in this beautiful pool where the waterfall ends. Up. Coffee. While I'm waiting for the coffee to be made ready, I'm going to buy some beautiful bracelets, handmade. They say handmade. I don't know they are for the kids and the wife. Let's see what they have here.
again for watching today's videos. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Share the video with your friends and family. Hit the bell button so you will be notified on every new video. And please leave a comment what you think about this video, what you think about the content. Zoom out in Bitcoin. Zoom in in life. Enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bye.